ludicrous note from Morgan Stanley where they have upgraded Godrej properties to uh, to an overweight. They have increased target price as well to 2500 from 2050. DLF has been downgraded to an equal weight, but the target has been raised to 900 versus 700 earlier. They say that they expect FY25 guidance of growth for 10 to 20 percent, which will be lower than the FY24 growth that we've seen 30 to 40 percent. But that is something which is expected because that was a big growth that they saw in FY24. Now, Prestige and Godrej properties, they should grow faster in terms of pre-sales. And as pre-sales slow, markets may focus on return on equity where Macrotech and Obroy are better placed. Now, remember, Obroy has done well, but in terms of pre-sales, it hasn't done so well versus, say, a Prestige or a DLF. Uh, so now a lot of these projects will come on stream and that could convert into, um, you know, sales for them. So important to note that as well, that FY25 is expected to be lower because that big number that we saw in FY24, but Morgan Stanley continues to be very bullish. Here. We'll see all of that when the numbers yes. come out in a few in a few days' time. Where Prestige Estates is the one, right? On the 19th of March, when it fell for the eighth day in a row, it was at 992, and it's recovered all of those losses yeah. and a little more. Now it's back above 1350. So unstoppable, their Prestige Estates, 35% higher now since the 19th of March. Their great going, 16% in the last seven days. So real estate stocks continue to grow from strength to strength. But moving on, the Ministry of Finance.